Hey guys, what's up? Crypto Market here, and finally a day that appears to be good for cryptocurrencies. It seems that we're all in the green. However, this comes after a few very, very, very turbulent days. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the whole situation. So many people are asking themselves whether or not they should invest in Bitcoin right now. And I hope that this video will sort of answer that question for you. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos. But however, Bitcoin is going, keep in mind that stock indexes such as DAX or Dow Jones are also having a rough time right now. So so-called specialists are accepting, expecting the stock market worldwide to plummet in one or two years so that we're going to see a crisis very soon crisis is kind of overdue since in the last few years it has stock markets have been going crazy and that many investors are gonna put their money into crypto so interesting hypothesis however whether or not this will happen we'll have to see but i didn't make a video in a long time um, one of the reasons was that when Bitcoin crashed about a week ago, um, I wasn't sure, sure, so sure if it was because of Bitcoin Cash or because of this tweet of backed that um, they postponed it again to January. However, a few days afterwards, I sprained my uh, ligament playing football or how Americans would call it soccer. So I was busy staying at the doctor and I had some time figuring out what's, what's going on. By the way, if you don't believe me, um, here is one of the crutches I'm using right now to walk. So yeah, now I'm back in the game making crypto videos again. And basically in times like this where everybody seems to be losing their minds because Bitcoin is going down, I always try to focus on the macro perspective, like to zoom out a little bit and to really try to escape the group think of God damn it, Bitcoin and crypto are going down. We're fucked because if you are on the long side, of course you are fucked because you think that the course is going to go up. And if you did it in the last 12 hours, you're quite right. In the last 24 hours, you would have made, you would have made, made a profit. However, don't forget that there's always the possibility to short Bitcoin and make money while things are going down. However, one thing I wanted to say is that right now, no matter where the price goes, I think that Bitcoin already accomplished a big miracle for our world. And whether or not you have lost a lot of money or gained a lot of money, you should definitely be thankful for. And it is the fact that Bitcoin made you, my friend, think about finances and get interested in the word financing because before Bitcoin, to be quite honest, many young people weren't interested in investing their money at all. Like some of them were, but they're kind of rare. However, now that people see what kind of or, you know profits you can make, obviously with smart investments, um, it's very interesting and appealing. However, of course, um, you need to manage your expectations right. Um, profits that we have seen uh, at the end of last year when Bitcoin went up to 20,000 probably won't happen again. However, I think that many people are now hooked on the topic of investing. So that's why I think that um, it's already a good thing that you're interested in Bitcoin. And wherever the price goes, one thing is for certain. Um, of course, you can be shocked about the fact where the price of Bitcoin is going, but it's nothing new. Like if we take a look at this chart, of um, the price movement of Bitcoin in the last few years, we see that this is nothing compared to the crisis of 2011, when Bitcoin went from $35 to $2. Even if you would have bought $35, you would be a millionaire by today. So imagine how those people back then felt. And I'm not saying that it's a natural law that every time Bitcoin goes down, it goes back up. But as you can see, when it comes to percentages, this is nothing new. This is something that's been happening to Bitcoin over and over again. And Bitcoin is every time very resilient and comes down. So I'm not saying that in 10 years we'll have a million dollar Bitcoin and that Bitcoin is the future. 
um, in my opinion, blockchain and cryptography is the future and whether or not it will be Bitcoin in the end, who knows? However, you should really be aware of the fact that a situation like this is actually completely natural in the Bitcoin sphere. And the only thing, the only smart thing, in my opinion, that you can do with this whole situation is to learn from it and to accept the fact that whatever asset you invest in sooner or later will lose a lot of its value and that you need to brace yourselves for times like this and keep a cool mind and analyze your portfolio and make the next decision. So kind of be thankful for the learning experience. If you have lost a lot of money, well then now you have your learning experience and the next time we have a bull run, whether it is Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency that we don't know right now, I think right now you are a lot smarter than we were before that. So I will, um, confess and be honest about you uh, to about uh, last year's bull run to you guys because I was the one um, I kind of really had um, Bitcoin in my eyes I was thinking yes this will go on until I don't know 30 40 50 thousand dollars however um, a bull run like that can't be permanent and that's why next time we see a, develop a development like that maybe Bitcoin going um, to 30, 40, 50,000, maybe $100,000 in a matter of a few months, I will not be so stupid and to think that this will go on like that forever, but get out earlier and be happy with the profits that I have made and not cry about it later because things that go up, especially assets for sooner or later need to go back down. So technical analysis is kind of difficult at the moment. We do see more volume coming in so this might be an indicator of you know the fact that we have finally found the bottom however you know that bitcoin cryptocurrencies are super super volatile and crazy especially in times like this and that's why right now i wouldn't recommend you guys to put all your money into bitcoin i recommend you to wait a little bit more and um, see where the next step is going to be at so if you really want to invest into crypto right now, maybe you can dollar a cost average it. Um, if you, for example, have a position of $10,000 and that's 2000 now, if it goes down, you can invest 2000 and more. However, view this video as my personal opinion and not financial advice. So be really careful when it comes to that. And yeah, this is another picture I found. I found very interesting because the same thing that happened that is happening to Bitcoin right now also happened to, for example, Amazon, Cisco, during the dot com bubble. So you see that almost every asset sooner or later will be at this stage. However, right now we do have definitely some bullish news. The Lightning Network looks fantastic. More and more capacity by the day. So we're, we are at 2 million right now. So we gained 300%, which is pretty crazy in the last 30 days. Furthermore, we have a very interesting report about KPMG on crypto and the blockchain being implemented into the industry. So basically they have arrived and, uh, and if KPMG says that, that they can't be erased out of the industry, then it must really mean something. So guys, I've been to the Malta blockchain summit in, um, at the end of October, beginning of November, met a lot of very interesting people, had a lot of very interesting insights and had a lot of fun. Um, Malta is an amazing island to go to. So thankfully, I'm really thankful that I also had some spare time left so I can enjoy the island. However, in April, from April 2nd to April 3rd, there's going to be the blockchain summit in Austria. So if you live close to Vienna, make sure to check out the event at Eventbrite and use the code crypto Marco, everything written together with Marco with the K and then you will get 15% off and it will be great to see you in person at this event. So guys, keep in mind that everything in this video is my personal opinion and not financial advice. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did leave it a thumbs up and comment down below at the moment, I'm not giving away lightning, uh, light coins on my English channel. So if you want to check out that, then go ahead and comment on my German YouTube channel on cryptocurrencies. And thank you so much for watching and definitely see you next time guys. Bye bye. And before you leave, don't forget to 
be careful when you play soccer, football, however you call it, because even if you play it with friends just for fun, can get very serious very soon. So I'll have to be very careful how I move so I don't get any permanent damage and definitely stay healthy. Bye bye.